before we get into that. But uh, yeah, there's a, like I said, Mike does a lot of cool stuff with the, uh, you know, they're not absolute you know, interval harmonies. You know, it's like not absolute third, fifth, and stuff. And I know a lot of you guys do that. And I've actually worked with engineers, you know, where you try to go outside of the, you know, and do more of an orchestrated type harmony, where you're not doing like, you know, straight thirds, fifths, whatever. And uh, you know, a lot of his genius stuff to me is like when he just riffs on it and, you know, you know, Mike will go into like, he'll hit an octave of the note and then, then a fifth into a third. And it's just like, it makes it, uh, makes it interesting. Got a lot of cool. Yeah, it gives, uh, gives a lot of movement. Movement, yeah. I mean, it's just, and it's not normal movement either. It's really uh, ends up being kind of uh, unique and uh Can we throw them isolated? Yeah, sure. Like, oh, you can't stop the moment. Let's see, these I think are pretty straight. Right Couldn't here. stop the moment. Couldn't stop the moment. Was that fifth or? Couldn't stop. That was another bow coterie. Couldn't stop the momentum. Couldn't stop you from crashing. Here he meets with an octave of. Wish that I had seen it coming. It goes down on one and. Seen it coming. It's like a release feeling there and go from the from the you know to the octave instead of just you know but it's real loose in that regard or whatever you just kind of do whatever happens and see if we can find those special moments you know and i think uh you know in the mix or whatever it really makes a difference when you're writing parts like that are you thinking in terms of what the harmony is or can you envision them all in your head ahead of time um, or is it the experimentation so or all the above uh, depending i was gonna say jamie's got a better better ear for seeing where it's moving mm -hmm. as for me uh it's like so for like this part coming out of the chorus where it's there's pitch shifted vocals there's vocoder uh there's your organic vocal so i from going to that, my first thought is, how do I get out of this into a verse and make it so it doesn't sound like it's just an abrupt halt? Mm -hmm. So you'll notice the last line of the chorus, uh, the, um, did you, could you play the very last line right before that verse? Yeah, yeah, right in there. This part coming up keeps on raining down so that part is just the main line and then it also has the vocoder the the box as well and it's just going unison and the reason it's going unison with it because you could be like why would you even need that there's no purpose for it but you can st the tone is still in there so it, it kind of kind of steps its way out of it mm -hmm. and then the next part builds back up where it's got octaves it's got the the vocoder box in there um can we so, hear just the vocal tracks soloed through that sure. so we can hear what you're... Yeah, roughly. And then the next part as well. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, like I said, it helps create textures in the layers, which is obviously, you know, it's part of mixing or whatever because you're you're not just relying on the natural dynamic of one vocal. You're creating pseudo-dynamics by adding and taking away layers mm -hmm. or adding, you know, or changing harmonies from, like, from octave to a unison to a harmony. It all changes the texture and... Uh, you know, it's you, you mix and textures and dynamics, uh, pseudo dynamics like that also. So. Like a ghost sinking into the ground, keep on slipping till the end of the earth. Now that all these black clouds keep on raining down. Wasn't technically perfect Could it have been any better? Falling faster and faster Do you still feel clever? We add another interval here Yeah, and then the second half we add, we add another harmony in Couldn't it. stop the momentum Couldn't stop you from crashing Wish that I had seen it coming Very well arranged yeah, so yeah, in the second half we build it up because the, the vocals in that part are very uh, straightforward. You know, da-da-da-da-da-da-da. 
And I did that too also because the drum beat's essentially a dance beat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a dance drum beat. So for me, I was trying to counteract that feel a little bit um, because I didn't, I didn't want it to feel like a dance song. Uh, so I kind of went a little more straightforward with those vocal melodies and then, you know, build it up with harmonically the second, the second loop, you know, we add the extra layer in there and then it all fizzles out because the next line is the most, I would say one of the most honest lines of the album, uh, with, uh, this part right here that James is about to play. Yeah. And you were so sick, you were skin and bone. Is the rawness of the lyric right there part of why that part only has one vocal? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, so, yeah. And that's that's mm -hmm. why I tried to to fizzle it out for that. With it being the most honest lyric of the album, it with the harmony, it'd be too it'd be too contrived. It'd be too mm -hmm. yeah. it'd be it'd be too storytelling because it's. It is a story, but with that part, it's a very, very, very precise personal. message. Yeah, very personal. Has to be. It's like, it's like if you were trying to say something personal, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do it through a vocoder. You know, that doesn't <laughs> feel that doesn't feel organic and personal. You know? so, break up, yeah, yeah. break, I, I, break I, up with your girlfriend <laughs> yeah, with a yeah. vocoder. Yeah, send it's her. Over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, it's like one of those things, and then, then you know, we come in with the echoes, which. The second time through for the pre-chorus is uh, it's different than the first time. That's you know to add variation in there, and it gets more extreme the second time. So it feels like it's building up to a bigger climax. Um, but we do that also, so it builds it back in. So when the next part hits and it has a lot of harmonies, it doesn't just completely blindside you. It kind of a mm -hmm. little bit of foreplay, if you will. Yeah, kind of builds it dynamically, like a kind of a crescendo type of thing and texture. Yeah. I think this is just a good 